can it be R-rated? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I grew up in New Jersey, and so we would come into the city on Friday nights and go to the limelight, and we were like 17, 18-ish, probably 15, 16-ish, and then we're lying and saying we're 17, 18, but somebody was able to drive. And you know, there were a lot of drugs around, so obviously I had to take them, and we would take acid, a lot of acid, not a lot, but enough to be, you know, and everyone would go to a different floor and then everybody would have to pile in at the end of the night in the car and we would wait and sit in the car until we all got sober so that we could get us through the Lincoln Tunnel and back in time for our first um, period, which started at like 7.45. And um, we did it the night before we took the SATs. So that wasn't a great idea, and we got back to school. I'm like, you guys, it's fine. And I would be the one to say, listen, everybody's fine. Everybody needs to calm down. And we waited in the parking lot until the sun came up. It was like 5.30 in the morning. We're like, okay, I can get us to the sun and and then I'll get us home. And we have to go straight to high school. And, and you know, we can't miss the SATs. I had already taken them once and it didn't go great. So I was like, I really have to nail it this time. And we went in to the class and we sat down and I looked at my friend and she said, how much do you get for writing your name? And I'm like, I don't know, but write it twice. And so while I was taking the test, I just thought, this is so stupid. Like really, I'm gonna take a test that's gonna get me into a college after I've fucked off for the last four years. This is gonna be my saving grace. And um, I didn't go to college because of that day. But look where I am now.